questions 19 to 21 in the ASA red paper. Um, so this sort of question analyzes your ability to convert between a Haworth and Fisher structure. Um, if you didn't know already, the Haworth and Fisher structures are the same um, molecule being represented. It's just in different forms. So Haworth is in a ring and Fisher is in um, a sort of line structure. Um, uh, the most important thing to do is to sort of orientate yourself. Um, so I always like to look at the um, carbon to the right of the oxygen and the top carbon in the Fisher structure because they're the same carbon. Um, and from there, sort of orientate myself. So um, in this case, um, if the um, OH group is up on the Fisher structure, the OH group is going to be on the left. And if we go to the next carbon, the OH is down. So therefore, we'd expect the Fisher structure to have a OH on the right side, and indeed it does. Um, and you can kind of see this pattern emerging. It kind of like alternates sides, and here it's alternating sides. So that's how you sort of read between the um, Haworth and Fisher structures. Um, all right, so let's try and put that into action for question 19. Um, so we have our fructose um, our fructose Haworth structure as, rep as represented by figure three, and in this case here. Um, and again, we've got this OH group and it's on the top side. Um, so if we have an OH group on the top side, we'd expect on our Fisher structure to have an OH group on the left for the first carbons. Um, and in structure um, A, that's not true, but in B, that is true. So we've got these OH groups on the left side. Um, and just going down, we'd expect um, our OH group to be again on the left side for the second carbon and on the right side for the third carbon. So we have this sort of pattern. So um, in this case, B is the correct answer. Um, A is incorrect because the um, first OH is on the wrong side. C is incorrect because the second OH is on the wrong side. And D is incorrect um, again because that second OH is on the wrong side and um, it's lacking the CH2OH on the first carbon. Um, so that's how you answer question 19. Um, question 20. Uh, again, it's just matching them up. Um, so let's take a look at D. Um, for the first carbon on the Haworth structure, um, we have an OH group on the bottom side. Um, and on therefore on our uh, Fisher structure, we'd expect it to be on the right. And then if you go through all the pattern again, um, you'd, you'd figure out that D is the correct answer. All right, question 21. Consider that the um, Haworth representation is viewed from above. So we're looking at these top sort of groups um, and that the point of view is moved in a clockwise direction. So like like just what we've been doing today, um, look going around in a clockwise direction, um, starting from the oxygen atom in the ring, like we've been doing. Um, in the Fisher representation, the carbon atoms of the ring are viewed as shown in figure two, um, i.e. arranged with the CH2, uh, CH2OH group at the bottom. For these two views, the groups attached uppermost to the carbon atoms of the ring of the Haworth representation are in the same order as the groups attached to the line of carbons in the Fisher representation that are, all right? Um, and it's got a couple of orientations. So it's just saying, if we go around um, the top side of the Haworth structure in a clockwise direction, um, what basically way do we read the Fisher structure? What What's the equivalent sort of groups and the direction in which we read those groups? So um, we know that the top side is um, on the left-hand side of the Fisher structure, as we've established multiple times before. Um, so the top side is the left si left-hand side, um, and we read down, down the page, basically. So this carbon is this carbon, the second carbon is the second carbon, third carbon is this third carbon. Um, so basically, um, A is the correct answer because if we go around the, in a clockwise fashion, reading only the top um, top groups on the Haworth structure, then that's equivalent to reading down the page on the left-hand side of the Fisher structure. So A is the correct answer um, for question 21.